Okay, we're recording. Hey guys, welcome to our home. Hey. That's hey. Anthony. What's up? All right, while we are forced to close uh, so everybody can stay quarantined for the coronavirus, we are gonna take you through today's workout. Anthony's gonna do the workout, he's gonna warm up first. Um, and make sure that everybody has an idea of what the warm up is, what the movements are. If you have any questions, please reach out to us via text, Instagram, direct message, whatever your preferred method of communication is. And if you still haven't had a chance to foster a dumbbell or kettlebell, reach out. We can make an appointment to meet with you in the gym. All right. So first up in the warm up today, we're going to start with 25 jumping jacks. Get the blood flowing, get moving. After those jumping jacks, you're going to do 20 shoulder circles. Start small, stay nice and controlled. Get bigger and bigger. Feel all the joints crackle. Then go 10, then go to the other direction as well. Fingers tips down, and then big circles. So we're going to go both directions, we'll do the PVC pipe. So fingertips down, big circles back again, bigger. Bigger, bigger, and then again, as we did before, fingertips up and go in the other direction. Yeah. All right, read that one straight through from Waterfly. All <laughs> right, then we're gonna go for ten straight-legged sit-ups. So you can't see Anthony's legs here, but his his legs are straight. They're out in front of him. He's going all the way back, hands over the head, and touching his toes at the finish. Next up is gonna be ten Supermans. <laughs> All right, feet together, squeeze the butt, arms are generally straight, reaching out as far in front of you as possible, and lifting the shoulders and chest at the same time as the feet. We're doing 10 reps of these. Next up is gonna be five alternating Samson stretches. That's five on each side. Keep those elbows straight. So you can get as big of a stretch as possible, interlace the fingers, doing five each side and then five alternating Spider-Mans. Next, make, nope, don't fall down. Okay. <laughs> make sure you keep that front foot flat when it comes by your hand. Get that elbow down as Whoa. far as you can, Good let word. out a nice groan and then <laughs> lift that same hand up towards the side. Once you are done with this warm up, you're going to move on to your mobility. We are going to do an actual couch stretch today. <laughs> Here's our couch. <laughs> Is this Raymore Flanagan, right? Yeah. Raymore Flanagan. Yeah. Today's workout is sponsored by Raymore and Flanagan. <laughs> All right, and again, open that hip up, keep that foot flat, try to get that knee tracking directly over the ankle and reach those hands up. There we go. <laughs> and we're gonna hang out in this for about a minute. After a minute, you'll go ahead and switch to the other side. <laughs> did you forget what I side did, that I did was? Just now. It, so I, know, I know how you guys feel. Anthony doesn't usually work out this early in the day. Yeah. He's yelling at you guys. <laughs> yelling, coaching. Same thing. Mm -hmm. All right. After that second side, we're next going to shift into pigeon pose. So if you're a flexible person, you would be able to get your front knee perpendicular to your body. And Anthony's going to focus on pushing his leg as far back behind him as possible and his hips down to the ground as much as possible before falling forward. If he isn't able to get his hips down as far as this, a lot of you can come up in a position where like we find a lot of people are, right? Yeah, so a lot of people are going to look more like this. We're going to have about like seven inches between your body and the ground, right? In this case, you don't want to fall forward. 
because you want to just focus on pushing that hip into the ground. You'll do about a minute here, and then you'll go ahead and switch to the other leg. And now we're just watching Anthony Pigeon. I'm gonna hold this for seven minutes. Breathe this. into the pigeon. It's Become the pigeon. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! All right. Assuming Anthony feels relatively mobilized there, he's then gonna go into the Russian baby maker. Right. So in that Russian baby maker, reach down, grab the ankles or, or the feet so that you can hang on, come down into your squat, use your elbows to push your knees out. And we're gonna hang out here for almost a minute. Are you gonna do this for a minute? Uh, okay. No, I was just watching the cat. Okay. Guys, that's our cat. All right, come on up, Anthony. All right, so today's workout is a 20 minute AMRAP. We're gonna do five kettlebell or dumbbell bent over rows per side, 10 push ups, and 15 air squats. All right, with that dumbbell or kettlebell that you may have already owned or may have fostered from the gym. That's something that you should be able to easily do those five reps without stopping. It shouldn't be a ch that shouldn't be that challenging for you in the first couple of rounds. Obviously, it'll get harder and feel heavier as we progress through the workout. Um, so for those 20 minutes, you're going to move through five bent over rows per side, 10 push-ups, and 15 air squats as many times as possible. For that bent over row, we're using our coffee table here. All right, Anthony's got one arm, one hand on it, one knee on it, and his back is nice and flat, right? I'm just staying out of the range of this camera. All right, his head is down, so you notice his neck is in a neutral position. He's not looking up. Go in a bad position. So that's a bad position. We don't want to see this, and we also don't want to see an over arch with the head looking forward. Right? You want to be just looking down at your fingers, basically. So okay. you lift your chest. So go ahead, pick up that dumbbell or kettlebell, and then you're going to row it up to the side five times. Keep that foot flat on the floor. After five, you'll rotate out to the other side. Let me check real quick. Let me check real fast. Uh, now, if you don't have a coffee table, like a glass coffee table, you can still do the row. I'm going to do the other side so you can see it as well. Um, if you don't have a coffee table, we have to kind of do it almost like a lawnmower setup, so you can pull a lawnmower. So, I'm going to take it on this side, all right? So, I'm going to load up my hip here. That foot's going to be back. If you notice, the hip over here before, my foot was back here. Elbow resting on my thigh. Same setup, as Michelle said, tall chest, right? Nice and long spine. And rowing back up for five. All right, I'm driving the elbow back. Cool. Now I've got equal pump. All right, after that, we have push-ups. We have 10 push-ups. Is that okay? We have 10 push-ups. We're going to be hand-release push-ups. We're going to go to the ground here. Obviously, hands are sitting just outside my, in line with my shoulders. Thumbs taking this one wide. I'm pushing into the floor. I'm going to come all the way down. Chest touches the ground. Hands come up. I'm going to drive up. Squeeze everything. Squeeze my quads. Squeeze my butt. Hands tight. I'm going to get 10 of these. Eight. I'm not counting. This isn't a personal training session. Okay. okay. Finally, the camera. 15 air squats. So, let's basically feet are hip width or hip width apart. Nice and tall. I'm going to come down and I'm looking to get my hips ideally, ideally below parallel. My waist in the middle of my foot. I can kind of hang out here, coming on up. Boom. One. Two, three, four, five. Keep going to hit 15. And then we repeat the process all over again. 
Now, essentially some of you guys are probably like, this is just Cindy. Yeah, we just have a pull-up bar. Um, if you don't have a dumbbell or a kettlebell yet, um, pulling will be kind of hard to do. Uh, if you have any kind of milk jugs or gallon jugs or water bottles, you can load it with water or sand or shot. You can use that. Um, if you don't have that, maybe we can do uh, V-ups. Do 10 V-ups. A little different movement, but still, it, it pretty makes a nice little triplet there. See how many rounds you can get in 20 minutes. Post it on Wattify. All right, um, we should have some more work. We'll have more workouts coming out during the week, obviously. Some big news in terms of, work, in terms of doing classes. Uh, you'll see probably something later on tonight, okay? Michelle, I say thank you. Um, let's go over the other scaling options for people who can't do a push-up the way you just showed them. Okay. Right, because that's going to be probably more likely than people not having a coffee table. So you definitely want to be able to use your couch as needed. So just like we scale in the gym where we use a box or bench to modify those push-ups, right? Um, let's do this one. So you can use your couch, putting your hands on the couch, and bring your chest straight down, right? We don't want to go to the knees if at all possible, so you just come straight down to your couch or your coffee table to change the height of that. Cool. All right, I guess that's good. So guys, uh, feel free, if there's anything we, that we didn't cover, ask questions in the comments, it's been on YouTube, right? So ask questions in the comment box, message us, I'll answer them, you know, we'll definitely get to you right away if you want this class done today. Like I said, more news about upcoming classes for the rest of the week coming up. Guys, Thank you so much for all the support you guys have given us and hanging out. We really appreciate it. I appreciate it. Michelle appreciates it. Um, Giz appreciates it. She's just not, she's camera shy. <laughs> and uh, we'll talk later. Yeah. And if you don't feel like doing anything weighted today, go outside and go for a run. Just stay six feet away from any other runners on right. the street. As it gets warmer, we can hopefully try to get some outside workouts at a park. We'll definitely keep you posted on that. All right. Great. Thanks, guys. We'll talk.